What's up, guys? It's your boys, the Digi Bros, back at it again with some more exciting Digimon card game gameplay for you guys. Over on the blue side, we have the blue Vidramon deck, and over on the red side, we have this green red mix up deck. A lot of fun. We're just over here getting set up, setting up our security and our hands. Looks like Blue's got security getting his hand already. We're still waiting on the green red deck. But yeah, it's been a lot of fun. This mixing of colors, some work better than others. Uh, just deciding who going first. Rock, paper, scissors it out. And I believe Blue won. Dropping all his cards in his lap. So yeah, looks like Blue's going first. Going to go on and hatch a Tsunamon. And playing Electmon on top of him, drawing a card. And playing Gobamon for two. Passing over to Green. Green's going to go on and hatch a Tanamon. And playing Goburamon on top of him to draw a card. Looks like he drew into another Palmon. And he's going to evolve Vegemon on top of the Goburamon to draw another card, drawing into Togemon. And playing Palmon for three to reveal the top three cards of his deck, adding any level four amongst them. So he's going to add the Togemon to his hand. So Blue's going to go, go on and promote up that Electmon. And he's looking at his hand, deciding what he wants to do next. Looks like it's evolving Gorillamon on top of the Gobomon to draw into a Vigermon. So looking at a Grizzlymon in hand, looking to evolve, nope. Looking to play Vigermon, nope. Grizzlymon, hard cast for five, passing over to Green. Green's gonna draw, promote up the Vigermon. Now we're going to see what Green can do. He's got a couple Togemons, a couple Woodmons, and a little in his hand. Evolving the Togemon on top of the Palmon, activating his effect. Revealing a Lilymon, a Tentamon, and a Secret Rare Metal Greymon. Looks like he's going to add the Metal Greymon to his hand, putting the Lilymon and the Tentamon on the bottom of the deck. Looks like we're going to evolve the Lilymon on top of the Vegemon for two. Drawing a card, drawing into a Rosemon. And is he going to follow this up with a blocker? That's what it's looked like. Blocker or no. The Secret Rare Metal Greymon is going to hit the field for eight, passing it over to the blue. Blue's going to go on and evolve a Uppamon in the raising area. Taking a look at that field, Green has the Metal Greymon, Togemon, Lily one, but Vigermon has hit the side of Blue. It's going to draw. Didn't catch what that draw was. And a Where Garumon is going to evolve on top of the Gorillamon to draw another card. So Where Garumon is going to attack, his effect will activate, giving him three memory. And an Izzy is going to be played. Now this is a misplay on the blue right here. He's going to attack with the Vigermon and activating his effect. This cannot happen because blue does not have a tamer on the field. So right here, blue attacks. And his effect is going to make Vigermon active. Once again, he could not have done that because there was no tamer on the field. He runs into a Mimi and then the BTO1 TK. Checking his security, adding another B201 TK. Then he's going to play another card on top of his security, security plus one, because he hit a yellow card off the TK. So, once again, Vidramon has to have a tamer on the field to activate its effect. We caught this after this. We do apologize for the misplay. So, a second Grizzlymon is going to hit the field on the blue side. Looking at two Grizzlymon, Vigermon, and Weirgrumon. And looks like a third Grizzlymon is going to hit the field. 
So he's gonna go up to five and then three more because of the way Gurumon putting green at eight. So green is going to go on and hatch the Tanemon, playing Palmon on top of it to draw a card, drawing into another Rosemon. Maybe we're going to evolve the Rosemon on top of the Lilymon. He's got a uh, Woodman, <laughs> Woodman, Woodmon in hand. Another Togemon. So we're going to go on and tap the Izzy, reveal the top card, putting the Mimi on the bottom of the deck. We're going to activate the Mimi and promoting up the Palmon. Mimi is super good card. Then we're going to evolve Woodmon on top of the Palmon. And we're going to draw for that evolve right there. No, no draw right here. Alright, so that is yet another misplay. Game one, two misplays. Woodmon evolving should have drawn a card. Beedramon has to have a tamer on the field. So we do apologize about these two misplays so far, guys. In the heat of the moment, playing games, sometimes you don't catch everything, still super new. We haven't played in a couple days, so we do apologize for not catching all these things. So Rosemont is going to evolve on top of Lilymon and drawing a card. That card, that Tensamon that he drew, should have been for the Woodmon evolve, so he should be another card deeper into his deck. So Green currently has the ideal setup where they have the Woodmon, the blocker, Rosemon and the Secret Rare Metal Greymon. Combination of those is the best offense and defense. Best offense with the Metal Greymon, with the best defense being the Rosemon and the Woodmon. Doesn't have to be the Woodmon, can be any blocker. But Rosemon plus blocker is really strong. Looks like Rosemon is going to attempt to attack over the Beedramon. Grizzlymon is going to interfere, intercept that attack, blocking and being destroyed by battle. Let's get the Lilymon trying to take him out. Grizzlymon is going to crash with that Lilymon. And once again, Metal Greymon, nope. Keep in mind, Metal Greymon, you have to pay 5 to attack. You get security attack plus 2. But you have to pay to attack regardless. He's just like the blockers where you have to pay two to attack. Whether you're attacking the security Digimon or player, you have to pay the five security to attack. So Green's just going over their options before they pay five to attack with the Metal Greymon. Looks like he's going to pay five for the Woodmon. So Blue's going to go on and make active the Weirgrumon and the Beedramon. And it's not looking too great for blue at the moment. Looking at two blockers, Rosemont and the Metal Greymon. A starter deck tie is going to hit the field, giving all of his Digimon plus 1000 DP during his turn. So now Vidramon will be able to attack over the blockers without crashing. So now Vidramon's effect can activate, making him active when he attacks. So he's going to attack into the Woodmon and the security. And he's going to be made active again. So now Rosemon's effect is going to activate, moving the Vidramon back into Rested. And he's being swapped back to active. I believe they're discussing the actual target for the Rosemon, whether it's Vidramon or another Digimon. And it's looking like Green actually wants the Grizzlymon to be made Rested instead of the Vidramon. Really smart on Green's play, because now the blocker, the Grizzlymon, will be rested during uh, his turn, so he will no longer be able to block. So Vidramon runs into the Metal Greymon in the security. Rosemon effect is going to rest the Rare Garumon. And Blue is not looking too great for Blue at the moment. So he's going to hard play. A promo Vidramon from his hand for five, passing it over to Green. Green's going to draw. Needs to make everything active. Looks like he hatches and starts evolving before doing all that. So once again, another misplay. So Izzy is tapped to make 
to add Gorgimon then. Maybe he's going to be tapped to promote the Tentamon. So really strong for green right now. Going to evolve Togemon on top of the Tentamon. Draw card, activating effect, revealing the top three. He's going to add another Metal Greymon to his hand. Or he's arguing between that and the Mega Kabuterimon. Looks like Mega Kabuterimon is his target with the Tentamon and the Metal Greymon going to the bottom of the deck. Rosemon is going to swing over the Grizzlymon, destroying it. Lilymon's effect is going to make Vidramon swap from active to rest. Togemon is now going to swing over the Vidramon because it evolved this turn. It gains a thousand from the Digitama. And he's going to pay five to attack over the Weir Gurumon. The Metal Greymon could have taken out three of the security, but getting rid of all the opponent's Digimon, especially one that gives them an additional three secu my bad, three memory during his turn. Uh, Blue's just checking his grave real quick, going over his options. Looking like he doesn't have any level threes to evolve over the Uppamon. Going to hard play Zudamon for seven to draw two cards. Not too great. Looks like he drew into the promo Vidramon and the promo tie. Green's just gonna go on and make everything active. Hatching Digitama and playing Palmon on top of it. Mimi's going to be rested to promote the Vegemon, which was evolved on top of the Palmon. So yeah, green definitely has this in the bag. Blue just needs to scoop it on up so they can go on to game two. Realistically at this point, there's once it gets to this point, there's nothing you can really do. Yeah, so you're just gonna... <laughs> Blue's gonna swap Zudamon to rest. Vegemon's going to swing security. Reveal another Gobamon. Togemon's going to swing. Revealing Vidramon. And only one left to attack with is Metal Greymon. He could attack with the blockers, yeah. He's gonna pay five to attack over the Zudamon with the Metal Greymon. Passing it over to Blue. Blue drawing a BT01 Agumon for turn. Wrong level three. Yeah, so that's going to go on and hit the field now. It's going to reveal the top five cards of the deck, adding a Tamer from amongst them. So we get Gomon, Vidramon, Wegurumon, Lekmon, and a Gorilla Mon. So no targets. Green's memory is going to go up to three because of both the TK and the Mimi. With only two security left. Green has this one in the bag. Evolving Tentamon over here in the raising area. Vegemon on top of him. Should have drawn. There he goes. Drawing for the Vegemon. Mimi's going to go on and promote. So yeah, just go on scoop it up blue. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Digimon on the field. Running into Zudamon. Making Agumon rested. Running into Vegemon security. And attacking for game really strong game one coming out of the green red deck blue not so much hopping into game two now just setting up the field security shuffling each other's decks and digitama decks so in this game green slash red deck is actually going to start off going on hatching I believe that's Fremont over in the digitama raising area Go Burramon on top to draw a card, drawing into that secret rare alternate art metal Greymon. Vegemon on top of that for one to draw a card into a Tentamon. Blue draws promo tie for turn. And he's just gonna hard play Grizzlymon, the blocker for five, passing it over 
to green and he's going back and hatching the Sudamon for his hatching phase. These are just fun casual games so it's cool to go back and do stuff like that. So BTO1 TK is going to be played searching the security adding a card to hand. If it's yellow he gets recovery plus one. TK is looking like it's a staple in this format. Really the only generic searcher we have. The only other searchers we have are Togemon right there for a level 5 or higher Digimon, Palmon for a level 4 Digimon, uh, BT01 Agumon for a searcher, and my bad, BT01 Agumon for a tamer, he has one hand, and BT01 uh, Patamon, you reveal top 4, and he has all the yellow tamers you find. So it looks like Vegemon is going to swing into the security, hitting the promo Vegemon. He's going to destroy that one in battle because promo Vigermon has 5k attack instead of 6 like the other Vigermon. So Tentamon is going to hit the field, passing it over to Blue. Blue is going to draw a Boring Storm and playing it to draw a card, drawing into a Zudamon. Looks like Zudamon is going to be played for 7 to draw 2. Drawing into another Vigramon and Promo Tie for a deck that plays 16 level 3. Seems like Blue is struggling to find any of them. Green is just going to go on a hatch and evolve Togemon on top of the Tentamon. Drawing, revealing the top 3, not hitting any targets, placing them all on the bottom of the deck. Pretty strong hand over here on the green. Looks like he has two of the secret rare metal gray mons. He can drop that at any point for immediate pressure. That's going to be security attack plus two. So yeah, Vegemon's just going to swing into the security. And it's going to reveal a Grizzly Mon that's going to crash the Vegemon. Destroying it and sending it to the grave. So now green still has three memory. He's looking at that metal gray mon in his hand, looking at a wood mon. He's also got the red blocker in his hand. So yeah, there goes the metal gray mon playing for eight. Now we should bump him up to five. Passing it over to Blue's turn. Blue is going to draw. Looks like they're still counting the memory to make sure it's correct, but five is correct. Drawing a Lekmon, evolving, and drawing a card. Drawing into a Gomomon. Promo tie is going to hit the field for two. That means a Vidramon is not far behind. Yep, there goes Vidramon over in the raising area. Ty is going to be made rest to draw a card. Looks like we drew Gorillamon off of the tie. Blue really needs to do something about that metal Greymon because he, once again, pressure is on the field. Dudemon is going to swing and running into a Togemon, destroying it in metal. So, yeah, metal. Greymon Secret Rare is a threat, giving him security attack plus two. You have to pay five for that. It's like the blockers where you have to pay two to attack. You have to pay five regardless whether you're attacking the security, attacking Digimon, attacking the player. But blue is going to play starter deck tie, passing it over to the blue. With the TK, he's going to go up to the three memory. Green's just looking over his options he has in his hand. He's looking at another Woodmon. He's looking at the Red Blocker, deciding what he wants to do. He has another TK, but with three security left, I don't think he's going to play it. Looks like there's a Rosemon and Vegemon in his hand. Two Rosemon in his hands. No, that's just one. 
So Blocker's probably gonna come on and hit the field. Yep, look like he's looking at the Woodmon. Looks like they're just discussing, talking about maybe the blockers or Metal Greymon on the field. He's looking at this Vegemon in his hand, but he can't really do anything with it. I mean, he can play from his hand for four, leaving the opponent at one memory. Well, he might as well pay one more and get a blocker established on the field. And he's looking at that Woodmont and the Red Blocker. And the Red Blocker hits the field for five, leaving the opponent at two. Sudamon and the Promo Tire are going to be made active. Vidramon is going to go and get promoted on up. Another promo tie is going to hit the field, and we're going to activate both of them at the same time. Make them rest to draw a card. So promo tie, you can if you control Vidramon, you can rest it to either draw a card or give one of your Digimon plus 1,000. So Zudamon is going to swing on the security. And revealing a Vegemon. No, no, at plus 1000, Vegemon's not going to crash with the Zudamon. So, Vegemon's going to attack security. Effect is going to make him active. He's going to run into the Go Burmon, and he's going to attack again. Running into the Red Blocker because of the um, starter deck tie. We're at plus 1000. Usually, Vegemon crashes with the blockers, but because of the extra 1000, he's able to get over it. And we're going to play Gaia Force for 8 to destroy the secret rare Metal Greymon. Passing it over to Green. He's going to evolve Go Burmont in the raising area. He's going to draw Izzy off of that. So right now with the Vitramont and the Grizzlymont on blue side of the field, it's looking like a threatening board for Green. Going to pay one to evolve Vegemon on top of the Gilbermon. Paying two to evolve Lilymon on top of the Togemon. And three for Rosemon on top of the Lilymon. Drawing cards. Looks like he drew a Togemon and a Red Blocker. Going to pay two for the Izzy. Izzy's effect reveal. Woodmon, there he goes. Rest the Izzy. looking yep for the woodmon so this is a super strong defense for nope taking them back all right he's going to swing with the rosemon first before dropping the woodmon so he's going to att attempt to attack over the vidramon grizzly mon is going to redirect the attack to him and then there goes the woodmon super strong defense board for green woodmon followed by a rosemon really hard to crack So Uppamon's going to be hatched, Gabumon's going to be evolved, Agumon's going to be drawn for turn, not for turn, uh, for evolving. Promotai is going to be made rest to draw card, looks like that was a Gomomon that was drew. Yeah, that's a Gomomon. And there goes... The second promo tie going to be made rest to draw another B201 Agumon. Paying two for Gomamon over here. Paying one to evolve Gorillamon on top of him to draw another Gorillamon. Looks like another Gomon is going to be played for two. Blue 
needs to start attacking before he ends up passing it to the punch turn. So yeah, it looks like Vigermont is going to attack the security and his effect is going to make him active. Running into Palmon security. So Rosemont's effect is going to make Vigermont rested. Zudemont attempts to swing on player but gets blocked. By the Woodmont. Uh, Zudemont's at plus 1000 because of the red tie. And here comes a second Vigermont on the field. If one Vigermont wasn't a threat, the second one definitely is. Vegemon goes on and gets promoted on up. Alright, so there goes another misplay. Izzy was tapped, should reveal the top card if it was a Digimon, add it to hand. However, he just tapped it to draw a card. It was a Mimi, so he was convinced he was adding the card regardless. Rosemont swinging on security, revealing a Gilmomon. Vegemon swinging, revealing a Electmon. So yeah, it looks like Green's just going to go on and scoop them on up. And so for game three, we're just going to go on and get set up. So once again, that was a misplay at the end of game two where Izzy was tapped to reveal a card. If it was a Digimon, add it to hand. If not, it goes on the bottom of the deck. However, Digimon, my bad. Izzy was activated, played in rest, and he just drew a card. It's not what Izzy does. Izzy would be pretty good. I'm not saying that Izzy isn't good. He's a pretty solid card. Once per turn, basically you search the top card if it's a Digimon edit. So not looking too great for Blue. He's going to go on and not not looking bad for Blue, my bad. He evolves Gobblemon and he plays Grizzlymon for five. Pretty alright opening. Goes on and establishes a blocker on the field. Green is going to hatch, play Tentamon. Then Woodmon on top of him. He's going to draw the red blocker off of that. He's looking at the red blocker and the Rosemon, trying to decide which one he wants. He also has a secret rare metal gray mod in his hand. So yeah, Rosemon's going to be played straight from the hand for a ton of memory. I'm not quite sure how much that was. Uh, I don't believe she's 12. She might be 12. So it's going to go on and pass over to Blue. Blue's going to go on and promote Gobumon. It's looking like we got Gobumon's going to be played. And Grizzlymon's going to be evolved on top of him for two. Drawing a card. And it's looking like we got two Agumon. The first Agumon's going to hit the field. Reeling top five cards. Adding any tamer we find amongst them. And it's looking like we hit zero tamers off of the first Agumon. And now it's looking like a promo tie is going to hit the field with a second Agumon being played. Yeah, second Agumon is being played. It's going to reveal top five cards Gobomon, Zudamon, Vigermon, Electmon, and Roaring Storm. Boring storm, I apologize. So out of the top 10 cards, we hit zero tamers off of them. Woodmon's gonna go and get promoted up to the battle area. Once again, the Rosemont plus the blocker lock. Not really lock, but best defensive option you can have in the game beside having like 10 blockers on the field. It's whatever you attack with. All right, Rosemont's gonna swing security, revealing a weird Grumon. Is whatever you attack the security, Rosemon's going to rest one of your Digimon, and then Woodmon's just going to block the other Digimon. So right now we have that really good defense followed by a really good offense, being the secret rare Metal Greymon who gets security attack plus two, hard play from the hand. Lou's going to go on and hatch the Uppermon with a second and third. Promo tie being played from Blue's hand, emptying, emptying out his hand. So now he's just going to start swinging on security with a Agumon. And he's going to reveal a Togumon, destroying the Agumon in battle. And that's 
the effect of Rosemont is going to make a blocker put in rest. And so this is the threat of the Rosemont. It doesn't really matter how many blockers you have established. If you start swinging during your turn, she will rest them. So during their turn, they will be free. So right now, instead of having two blockers to worry about, there's only one. Go Burmont is going to be hatched in the, my bed. Go Burmont is going to be evolved in the raising area. Looks like Lilymon is going to be evolved on top of Woodmon. Or maybe Mimi's going to get played. TK's over there as well. With he's got fort security, he can he can afford the TK. There's no Vigimon on the field. You, you don't really gotta worry about it. But now it looks like Rosemont is going to swing over the rested Grizzly one. And Lilymon's going to be evolved on top of the Woodmon. Drawing a card, drawing in a Vigimon. And Lilymon's going to swing over security, revealing a Vigimon. So the effect of Tintamon is going to make the Gabumon rested. Just looking at some options in Green's hands, looking at Mimi. He's looking at another blocker. It looks like he's just going to pay 5 to attack over the Gabumon. Yep, paying 5 to attack over Gabumon, passing it over to Blue. Blue's in a really bad spot right now. His board was basically cracked open. And yep, he's going to attack security with the Agumon, running into Lilymon. Rosemon's going to rest his blocker, the Grizzlymon. Plot twist, another Grizzlymon hits the field Blue was anticipating. His first Grizzlymon getting rested the entire time. So yeah, green is in a really good spot, and blue is in a really bad spot. So right now they're arguing over memory. Blue, my bad, green just seems to be so used to having a plus three Digitama, my bad, a plus three Tamer on the field. So yep, blue is just going to, yep, Vegemon hits the field for one, drawing a card, drawing in a Tentamon. Getting that friendly thumbs up from the blue side. Vegemon's going to swing over the Grizzlymon. He's at plus 1000 because it evolved this turn. Lilymon swinging security, hitting Electmon. Rosemon swinging security, hitting Vigermon. With only one security left and one Digimon on the field, blue is in a terrible position. And so. Green is going to pay 5 to drop the red blocker. And blue drew the starter deck tie for turn. So now they're talking about memory, discussing what happened. Because I guess blue or green just assumed blue ended his turn. And so he started to draw. Nope, he's going to pay 2 to attack with the grizzly one running into Tentamon and now it's game over for the blue player. Green's just popping off over here evolving Palmon, Vegemon. Yeah he's just he's just overkilling at this point. He can just swing with the Lilymon, yep. Into a promo Vigermon and the Rosemon for the game. Alright guys, welcome to the winning deck profile of the match you just watched. Today I decided to run a green-red hybrid build. I tried a green-yellow build and I thought, hey, let's just try a similar idea but with a red build. Uh, if you saw in our last uh, uh, deck pro, or no, our last uh, dual video before this, I was playing another red build that got beat really badly. I just so we had to swap it. <laughs> yeah, so I decided to redo the whole build and try something a little different. Changed out like eight cards, and here we are. So yeah, starting at the top, we got four Rosemon. Really good. Um, kind of, you know, it's 
Level 6, uh, while it's rested during your opponent's turn, if they attack one of your security, you can rest one of their Digimon. And it's very important, they have to attack your security. Last match, I was misusing that. Alright, moving on. We got four Metal Greymon. This secret is, Rare? We got Secret Rare one. This is the one that, uh, whenever... Oh, he has Security Attack plus two, so that's you good. You have to pay five to do it. Yeah, but you have to pay five in order to activate that. But still, Security Attack plus two. Yeah, him on his own can take out three Security, and that's just insane. All right, moving on down, we got Lilymon, four copies of that. When it's up under Rosemon, it can uh, rest one of your opponent's Digimon whenever she attacks. Except, uh, not with Blocker, but right. still good, though. Mega Kabu Terramon. Two Mega Kabu Terramons. Uh, you don't ever use this effect. Uh, I believe it's if your opponent has, like, two rested, Digimon. rested, it has an effect, but I've never used it. He's just another two to evolve, uh, level five. Just and, trying to get the Rosemon. Yeah, and he's... Allows your tamers to activate because he's level 5 green. And you got four of each of the blockers. Red. Broken. Yeah. Broken. <laughs> Eight blockers. Eight blockers is always good. You got four of your Togemon. He's really good because he can add uh, when he's summoned, or no, when he's Evolve. digivolved. You can build top three cards of your deck and add any of these cards up here to your hand. Any single any one. one. Yeah. Any of them. Does not matter what color it is. You can add all of them to your hand. Not all of them, but you know, one, one of them. You got your one drop level four. Vegemon. Yeah, he's really good. You got this guy down here Palmon. with Palmon. Uh, this card's really good too, because whenever it's played, it's a three drop. You can add any level four from your deck, or no, any. You reveal the top three cards of your deck and add any level four among them to your hand. So that's any of these cards right here. So you summon that, add a blocker. You can actually run this in basically any deck. So if you're playing like a blue deck and you want to search for a Vegemon, you can summon that, reveal Vegemon, add it to your hand. So it's really good. This one Tentamon. over here, yeah, Tintamon over here, that one's good because, you know, he's a level 2, uh, or level 3, I mean, and it's effect when it's up under a level 4 or 5, when it's up under, Digimon. Uh, yeah, Digimon, it's effect is whenever attacking, you can rest from your opponent's Digimon with 3,000 3, or less DP, so that's good at knocking out some of Blue's smaller Digimon. And moving on down, we got three, go, four of the... Go, go Buramon. Go Buramon, Green Goblin. Yeah, just a 2 drop, level 3. Good. Zero to evolve. Then moving on to our tamers. We've got three of our... TK? TK. You know. You know TK. It's in most decks. You activate it, add one of your security to your hand at the during your draw phase, or whatever it's called. At the start of your turn? At the start of your turn. You uh, get... <laughs> if you have uh, three less, memory yeah, or less. Three memory or less, you get start with three memory. So that's always good. You got three more... Uh, Izzy. Izzy. Izzy is really good. If you have a level five or higher green Digimon, which you've got these up here, uh, on the field, you can activate or you can tap it and then reveal the top card of your deck. And if it's a Digimon, add it to your hand. It doesn't any, have to be green, it could be yeah, red. Any Digimon, so that's good. If you get multiples, you can activate them all each turn and just add them all to your hand. Free Keep, Digimon. Yeah, it's like a free draw every turn. And then we got four of the Mimi. Not two Mimi. Oh, my bad. Two Mimi. Mimi is still a really good card, but being that we are running a red variant, we do not rely as much on. Um, Mimi. Hatching extra eggs and yeah, and doing all that. Because the only but, target for it is the Rosemon. Yeah. My bad, Rosemon. No, Rosemon, Lily, yeah, all yeah. these. Well, I mean, same with that. Yeah. But, okay. yeah, it's, I mean, it's still good. We just don't rely as much as on it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there you go, guys. Oh, yeah, you're moving on to Digitom. We've got four of the good one, one of the bad one. Four, whenever you Digivolve the turn, gains a thousand. Two, where this one, if your opponent has two or more rested Digimon, it gains two thousand. It's a terrible effect. I wish I could play five of that, but it yeah. is what it is. All right, guys. Well, with I really. Digibros. Yep, with Digibos. If you liked what you see here, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe to see more awesome Digimon content. Oh yeah, and comment down below if you, there's any matches you guys would like to see us play, because we can do just about any of the colors. Yeah, <laughs> any of the colors. We can do any of the decks out right now. So if there's a matchup you guys want to see or a Blue certain versus red, red versus yeah, or a certain green. deck build you want to see, just let us know, and we'll try to get that done for you guys. All right, thanks. Thank you.